Have you ever wondered who's leading the race in AI innovation? Are you curious about how the latest advancements could change the way we interact with technology every day? In this video, I'll explain how Google recently became the top company in AI, taking the lead from OpenAI. Just a few days ago, Google introduced their new model called V2. This model is special because it can create and understand videos better than any other model before it. It does a great job with details like physics and how things like hair move, making everything look just right. This was the first time we could really see that Google is doing better than many thought. Before this, people believed Google was falling behind. But with V2, Google showed us they are actually ahead. Not long before this, OpenAI had released a model named Sora. A famous tech reviewer, Marcus Brownlee, talked about it. He said Sora was good, but then when Google released V2, he was impressed by how much better it was. This was a big surprise and made everyone in the AI world take notice. Now, even young kids can understand that Google has made a big leap ahead with their new video model. This person is a tech reviewer who talks about all kinds of technology. Recently, he discussed Sora, OpenAI's video generator, confirming the rumors about its release to the public on December 9th. This software created a lot of excitement. Just a few days later, on December 16th, he tweeted again, this time about Google's new video model called V02. He mentioned that the examples from Google looked better than any results he had seen from Sora. Imagine a well-respected tech reviewer saying that your product is the best he's ever seen. That same week, OpenAI also launched their video generator, which was quite impressive. There were demonstrations showing how AI could perfectly slice tomatoes, but Sora made some errors, and it wasn't the only time Sora made mistakes. The positive reception of Google's V02 model on Twitter underscores that it wasn't just a matter of selective presentation. A broad audience genuinely perceives it as superior to OpenAI's Sora. For example, the Venture Twins, well known for their tech reviews, highlighted a demonstration where V02 accurately depicted a runner navigating hurdles, a task where Sora faltered, showcasing inaccuracies in motion capture. This distinct performance difference points to Google's advanced capability in handling dynamic elements in videos, which is critical for realistic modeling. Google's prowess extends beyond video AI. Their Imagine 3 model has set new standards in the realm of text-to-image conversion, surpassing established models like Mid-Journey, Darley 3, Stable Diffusion, and Flux 1.1. Its ability to generate precise and detailed images from text descriptions makes it a leader in its field, providing artists and creators with a tool that enhances their creative process. In the realm of conversational AI, Google introduced the Gemini EXP1206 model, potentially a precursor to their Gemini 2 model. This model has consistently outperformed competitors in blind tests conducted over the past few weeks. Participants often favor Gemini EXP1206 for its more nuanced understanding and generation of human-like responses, demonstrating Google's commitment to refining AI interactions. Brand names do influence how we view AI models, but when we compare them blindly, it's clear that Google's Gemini model stands out as the top choice in various rankings. Not only does it excel in side-by-side -side comparisons, but its variant, Gemini Flash, also ranks just below the main Gemini model, outperforming other models like the Zero One Preview and Zero One Mini. This dominance isn't limited to video and image capabilities. It extends to text generation as well. The Gemini models also lead in processing visual data, surpassing competitors like Claude and ChatGPT, which is impressive given Claude's previous dominance in visual tasks. In the realm of AI, Google's Gemini 2.0 Flash experimental model stands out for its exceptional performance, surpassing the capabilities of its predecessors, Gemini 1.5 Flash and Gemini 1.5 Pro. This innovative model showcases advanced processing speeds and enhanced accuracy, making it highly effective for various applications that require quick and reliable AI responses. Its third-place ranking among all AI models further establishes Google's dominance in the field, highlighting its ongoing commitment to developing cutting-edge technology that leads the industry. Additionally, Google's introduction of the Project Astra AI agent 
signifies a strategic move to solidify its leadership in AI technology, rather than merely competing with OpenAI. Project Astra leverages the power of Gemini 2.0 to provide users with real-time reasoning capabilities, mimicking human cognitive functions. This AI assistant is designed to assist in everyday tasks using its integrated camera and mapping technologies, offering users a seamless and intuitive experience that augments human interaction with the digital world. Project Astra is particularly innovative in its ability to utilize multi-portal reasoning, allowing it to process and analyze information from multiple sources simultaneously thereby achieving complex problem-solving tasks more efficiently. The extensive database and internet connectivity of Google's AI enable it to deliver vast amounts of information swiftly and accurately. This functionality is expected to be widely utilized, given the ubiquity and robust integration of Google's products in consumers' lives. The AI's capability to provide detailed, contextually relevant information on demand is a significant advancement transforming how users interact with technology on a daily basis. As these AI systems become more embedded in everyday activities, their impact on productivity and information accessibility will likely be profound, driving further innovations in how we use technology to enhance human capabilities. But Google isn't stopping with just AI agents. They've recently introduced the Android XR platform, a new operating system designed specifically for extended reality XR devices, which includes augmented reality AR, virtual reality VR, and mixed reality MR. What makes this platform extraordinary is that it integrates the Gemini AI directly into XER glasses. This integration allows AI to become a seamless part of daily life and work, enhancing how we interact with technology. The platform will be deeply integrated with Google's apps and services, ensuring a smooth experience within the Google ecosystem. Moreover, Google has opened this platform to developers, inviting them to create on this innovative system. Knowing the creativity of developers, we can expect a variety of unique and exciting applications to emerge. This push by Google could very well shape the future of AI, leveraging the talents of developers to explore new possibilities in XR technology. As someone who has actively used AI wearable technology, such as the Meta Glasses, I've experienced firsthand the current limitations. They don't yet offer full AI functionality. Despite this, I've seen how powerful these tools can be and the potential they have to transform our interaction with digital content. Moving beyond just wearable technology, Google has significantly advanced its AI offerings by integrating a groundbreaking tool known as Deep Research. Deep Research is an extraordinary tool for anyone who uses the internet regularly for gathering information. It is designed to automate the research process by scanning through content from 100 different websites to compile a detailed, up-to-date, 10-page research journal tailored to your specific query. This tool is not just a simple search engine. It's a comprehensive research assistant that operates with remarkable speed and efficiency, surpassing traditional methods of online research. What makes deep research truly stand out is its ability to save users countless hours. Where you might spend days gathering and synthesizing information, Deep Research completes these tasks in minutes, providing insights and data that are both current and highly relevant. It significantly outperforms perplexity, one of the internet's previously favored tools for research and data analysis. This advancement by Google isn't just a step forward, it's a leap into a future where detailed personal research can be accomplished at the click of a button. Google's release of the Deep Research tool was unexpected and quite a surprise. This tool changes how we will use the internet for research. Instead of using perplexity for smaller everyday searches, Deep Research saves us hours by quickly gathering and synthesizing information from across the web. Google Gemini now includes a data analysis feature, a unique function not found in other large language models, AIN LLMs. This addition enhances Google Gemini's utility, 
making it a more comprehensive tool for users. Just like OpenAI's ChatGPT can remember past interactions, Google Gemini has introduced a similar memory capability. This feature allows users to ask Gemini to remember specific details from their interactions. For example, you can tell Gemini, remember that I prefer articles from scientific journals, and it will prioritize this preference in future tasks. Google has really stepped up this week, showing us they're leading the way in AI innovation. They've done so much to make their AI tools smarter and more helpful. For example, their AI can now remember things we tell it, making everything more personal for each of us. This means the more we use it, the better it gets at helping us. If you're impressed by how Google is pushing the boundaries of what AI can do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates on AI advancements. Let's keep exploring how these innovations can make our lives easier and more connected.